have two songs. Shout out. I have two songs on this way. One, I just really want to do. I don't like the way it came out. But, you know. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, Transversibility. Speaking of transversibility, it was transversibility this past week. Um, which is awesome. Shout out to Audio Straddle um, and Al Alina from they did this um trans transvisibility la, 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 for accuracy accuracy text for not being prepared. Oh, I have two songs. Shout out! I have two songs on this way. One I just really want to do because I don't like the way it came out, but you know. You know, that's just the Chance Day of Visibility in Audio Straddle Community Photo Gallery. And yours truly is on it. <laughs> Screen up. Yes. Um, not who wonder are lost. Not all who wonder are lost. And from MX Martha, you get to see a typo right there. But I think it's awesome because it works as a typo because I was like, um, it's on um, shallow verse. It's dope. Um, shout out, and it's like they, they got like combine almost a hundred uh, trans individuals, you know, to like you know talk about trans visibility and what it meant to them. And they all do amazing things. They all link to something like either social media profile or business or something or brand anything. You know, and this is my brand, Trans Radical Ration Now. You know, and like this gave me a chance to like promote myself. You know, as well as G and Z Kennedy. See, ah, see, I like GNC Kennedy, but GNZ, I gotta find a way, like Gunzy, Gunzy, I'm gonna say Gunzy Kennedy, Gunzy Kennedy, Gunzy Kennedy, <laughs> Gunzy Kennedy, rock me on top, you know, the same thing, go look at the top, hey, 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 so, yeah, it's our brother Trans Radical Rationale in GNZ, Gunzy, Gunzy, Gunzy. Gunzai <laughs> Kennedy, um, digress. Um, and talks about like since being visible, it's like I've unearthed this dormant superpower. Oh. I can actually plan for the future as my true self, and who knew I'm actually am not a slacker. And I feel like that was the perfect slacker sentence <laughs> to not spell check. <laughs> and I feel like. Alina who did this, Al, not Alina, Al Aina at um, Audio Shadow and shoot, 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 Twitter, 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 because they do do Twitter. Let's see. Okay, yeah, follow Elena Monts on Twitter. Yeah, did something really, and it's like Al Al Elena Monts, you know. So like, um, yeah, shout out to them. They're gonna be like do some great things. I like the way what they did. I was really appreciative to be a part of that. So thank you. Um, what else we got? Uh, not smoking. I think I covered that a little bit, which I rather not keep talking about more. Just try not to smoke. That's all you need to know. Um, still, oh yeah, I was like really catty about it, like the other day. Like, I was just like really snappy. I was like, ah, uh, like, smoke one. Don't talk to me. Not smoking. <laughs> it was really, it was really, I was really emotional. Like I went late outside to go get some cake and like, but they didn't have cake. Um, so I got like, a yodel. Um, but yeah, I was really craving that sweet. Um, and then like I'm like now I'm stressed because I was listening to the podcast. Um, shoot, who was I listening to? 
Oh, I was listening to. It's like you're no, 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 no. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> um, Gender Rebels podcast, and I was uh, um, it was talking about Faith's transition timeline, a retrospective, and it was a really good episode. I really, I really recommend them. Um, a really great podcast. Um, listen to a lot. I listen to a lot when because I teach. I like I said, like I facilitate transgender and gender nonconforming uh, meetings. So I listen to them when like I'm just like, all right, I need a topic, and I'm like, what to talk about? And I listen to what trans voices are talking about because it can't just come from my voice and like my community. It has to come from everywhere what are we all talking about you know and then you put it together and then like you have interesting topics to like and you're like oh well, i see seen on this comments and then read the comments because like the comments will say like hey you know like this person was feeling this or throw nuggets of grain in there if you do the research if you do the information you can find the truth you know find yourself you know that's what you have to do you know Find yourself through this journey, and then like information is key. Knowledge is power. You can only choose to know yourself or not know yourself, or not yet. Because you want to just have to know yourself, but you can also not know yourself and be lost and not knowing yourself. Because not all who wonder are lost, you know. So, what you need the information? Because even if you're wandering, how you gonna survive? You need the information, and you can wander. Oh, maybe I'll do that one day. There's like a. You ever seen Pulp Fiction where like uh, Samuel Jackson is just retired? It's just like I'm done with the I'm done with the life and I'm just gonna wander the earth. Maybe that's you know one day. Wow, well, do you know like, you know like after I'm done really playing this TGNC detective or researcher or journalist or information key cog or something, whatever I'm trying to be, whatever I'm trying to transition to be, like I'll just with all the information I've gathered just wander. For a while, and just be all gray-haired, long, and everything, and just maybe in a white dress, just go, just wander. But yeah, yeah, a lot of edits to do in this. Jeez, this is like a long. This is a really long video. Though. Like it flowed. But yeah, they talk about smoking. <laughs> they talk about smoking. How when they quit smoking, they gained a lot of weight. And like ever since like cutting back on smoking, I've eaten everything everything like i went to applebee's like i had dinner like mm. so yeah i had dinner with a friend of mine who i hadn't seen like like not even that long really and really like in three months or something like that they, in between them they sent me an article that they got written about that like um that now they're doing great things and everything you know or you know like they that talked about like they're working at school and like they um transitioned uh they were teaching they were a teacher and uh they transitioned um, and like they wrote an article about her, like they, you know, now she's responsible for like coordinating amongst the, 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 the you know, co coordinating amongst the LGBT youth. Like she's doing amazing, great things, and like super proud of her. And um, one day, like I would love to like have her on this, you know, and like talk and everything, especially as I get more professional at this, which includes unfortunately you no know, more smoking. On the videos, because I can't smoke it and just you know blow up people's faces as much as I want to. I feel like there's a place for that. There's got to be a place for that, like a smoking corner or something like that. Amazing. We'll, I'll be able to do that and have a drink. We'll wear fifties outfits, sit and like reminisce about the old days when you can smoke on airlines, <laughs> and have an episode where we smoke on a plane <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> It'll be a blast, you know. But yeah, you know, like. There it was like really great. Um, so like yeah, they're doing really amazing things. And like so, I see them, and like we both hadn't seen each other since we um really like we like we knew each other like you know like when we didn't like you know fam you know like um so like we hadn't seen each other since not be since being fam you know since me being Martha and then it's her you know and it was like I don't, I didn't recognize her you know like I, I was like. Like, like I, I never did that before. We're getting able to like not recognize someone, you know. And I was just like, I just didn't. Like, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I probably would have passed there and not even know. And it was just amazing. They were complimentary. I was complimentary. And then like the person I mentioned earlier in the video, like or past video, depending on how I edit, like um. 
that like that is, has been so inspiring because they're doing it with such like grace, beauty, and like intelligence, and just like I need to get this done. And it's just all types of just beauty, and like we're all just there at one point gathered in, and it was just like a gaggle of girls, just like who's killing it. You talk about like talking about like trans girls rock, you know? That was a picture for it. That was like it's amazing, you know? Like <laughs> it was amazing. And um, what's it called? So we go, you go have like a uh, go through my meeting. Um, TGC facilitate and like we talk about what are you talking about? You talked about things you wish you would have known um, before like transitioning, things you knew that saved you um, during the transition, and things you've learned afterwards. So like you know, we had some really great responses. I should have brought the notebook. You know, talk about oh, shoot. Hmm. Yeah, so I say that I, I think I'll do that like an. Another time, like with uh, Facebook, cause I'm posting, I want to post like uh, videos about like uh, the group, like on Facebook, like not showing group, but like unless people want to be a part of it, but like talking about it, you know. So like, st look out for the page. Um, I'll post that. Um, either I'll tag that and all that. But like, at least from my perspective. Um, um, so I'm, and the next time I won't make it so selfish about me. You know, I don't like to make it about me, but about me. <laughs> but my perspective um, was that like things I'm glad I knew. One, I'm glad I knew that like um, wearing black really does help um, when you're like your body's changing. Cause like I've been wearing black for a year. You know, like even through the summer, like I wore black and I still probably am. Like I'm getting in the mindset though of like I'm actually wearing white, nothing but white. You know, but like learn knowing about andro as like a style that like is an acceptable style in like cis culture like, like yeah you're gonna be seen as like weird but like wearing all black is just like you just get part into the artist box so like when i wanted to be different and like i'm just like really presenting when you're wearing like polos and bright colored shirts but they're really rigid in masculinity we're black and you can get away with the, i wore women's jeans for a year like and i don't know if people noticed but then like eventually they started noticing because like body started filling out more and like the curves started adhering because there are women's jeans and you know like because the jeans get tighter and like <clears throat> even like the tight jeans that i bought just gotten tighter and like the jeans that i bought that were women still women's but like baggier it's gotten tight you know like so that's like um you know but it's slowed down, I guess, like, you know, like, it's helped me maintain my autonomy during this transition. Because all my black shirts, you know, hide decent well, but now they're not hiding so well anymore. And then the face changing, you know? You know, I'm getting, like, you know, is that a boy or a girl, you know? I'm getting that. You know, or maybe I'm not. I don't know. Maybe you're talking about someone else. Probably talking about someone else. I don't care. <laughs> the point is, I no longer care, which is amazing. Um, things like I, I wish I knew, wish I knew that like, I, I guess like, on hindsight, I knew, but I wish I knew through experience that you can't predict any of it, like when it happens. It's like, you want to, you start out goal oriented when you transition because you need it. Cause you need to set goals for yourself to get to attain to reach but like as you do you won't you won't reach them because your goals change you become less goal oriented and i guess you become task oriented where like now it's just like you because you have to live it now and it's like for example my goal was to move before i transitioned i didn't move i started hormones before i didn't move then when i did move i was like all right when i, when I move i want to like I'm never going to be, like, visible as, like, you know, this male self. And it happened. What I am is it's visible, though. Like, I'm out here, you know, go around quickly from whatever I got to do. But I didn't know how I was going to get there, you know? You didn't know. I didn't know, like, the tools at my disposal, you know, like, you know, increased, you know? And it was just, I'm glad, though, so that, like, I didn't know, you know? That like you know because to 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 become stronger you know with your transition it ups your hustle. I didn't know that. I was worried that like I was just gonna lose me. That I was gonna be like softer, kinder, you know, like this pushover now. But no, I become much more like detailed, much more 
you know, not just to spawn to the trope of like, oh yeah, you know, that shit does that makes you more detail oriented, tag oriented. But no, like became much more just that's yeah, ruthless, you know, it's trans radical rationale. Like I said, it became more ruthless. It became much more like you know, ingrained in like a mindset of just like, yeah, like I have to succeed, I have to win. Um, not doing it at all costs. I'm staying true to myself. I'm actually nice. I'm actually nicer to like the people that need it. Like I, I look at it this way, right? Like when it comes to like giving money to like homeless, right? I look at it as like a look at it as paying a toll. Like that's how I look at it. Is that like when you're facing a challenge in life, when you're about to go someplace, you know, you're on your way to something. You don't you don't run into someone homeless when you're not doing nothing. Unless you live around homeless people, unless you're homeless yourself, um, but people asking if you're homeless, I don't know how much people are asking for money, but maybe people do. People ask anywhere. I'm not rich. I'm not by any means any close to anything. I'm very strong, struggling with money. <laughs> like we all do in some form of matter, and some people harder than more, but digress. Um, yeah, like I look at it as then like you know, so when someone asks you. Look at it as like a like a toll. You pay the toll to get where you need to go, because like you know I don't know if you believe in karma or anything like that, but it's just like it helps even if you do it selfish because like you want you want to feel good about yourself. Someone's getting some change and you get to feel good about yourself. I'm saying that's like a is that a business? It's not a business trade off, you know. And that's just the business of it, and it's not a bad business. Because you get to feel good about yourself, and you get to go feeling your place where you need to go, feeling good about yourself, um, knowing that you did one good, at least one good thing for the day, um, and this person gets you know some change. It's not like I'm giving like dollars or hundreds or anything. I give like I put some change in my pocket, and like whatever, like and it's just pennies and quarters. I don't even know what it is, and like I just feel a pinch for it, and I'm just like, because I need money myself, you know. Like I'm like I can't just like hand pull pockets and just take it. So I take a pinch, and I'm just like, I don't know what's there, you know, I don't know, like, like if I'm feeling great that day, like, the pinch feels great, like, heavier, if I'm feeling just like, I don't have anything today, like, the pinch feels, like, lighter, like, and it's more reserved, but, like, it's just so, like, more pe also that more people can get it, you know, that, like, you know, I can, you know, I can't just, like, parcel out prints, because it's a lot, it's a huge problem, it's, like, million pro million people problem that we can't really, s I don't know if we can solve, but, you know, I mean, we could just do it on a micro level at least where like someone gets it and look at it as like paying the toll, you know, like, hey, I need to get here, I need to get there, I need to get here on a good feeling, on a good note, on a good life note, on a good feel, like I'm going to a job interview and I can't, you know, I'm nervous that I'm not going to get it and then someone asks for change and like you have something in your pocket, you know, pay the toll and go on your way and they, they don't say if they don't say thank you it's cool if you say thank you that's cool too you know if they strike up a conversation it's great like because then people have you get to listen again and then gain some more of your 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 your, your taxes back you know which you don't get to use at that time you never do with the tolls you don't get to but like you know you get to travel think about it that way it gets it really like in a very like like just say. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's fantastical in its nature, but isn't that what life is anyway? To throw yourself into like you know to get through the day, you know, unless you're thinking about like monotonous stuff all day to get lost in this world a little bit to enjoy it. And like one of the ways I enjoy it is just looking at it as like a toll that like you know these these people like um, have much more of a value than we understand because we don't live that life. Um, you never know the type of ability you can have when you're not put in that position it's like not even like to get that deep you can even say from like for example when someone lives in a so you have like a house right someone lives in a basement where they don't have any windows they live in the basement you have someone who lives on the first floor you have someone who lives on the second floor you have someone who lives on the third when well, someone lives in the basement has no light outside but they get to like be internalized because they're underneath but they also feel that pressure because they don't see outside you know, they, but they're they're different though. It doesn't mean they're worse or bad or anything like that or better. 
it just means that their perspectives are going to be different. The way they interact with the world are going to be different. They might appreciate outside much more. You know, you have someone on the first floor who's exposed to the outside. They hear the sounds from outside because they're right there at street level. They hear everything, you know. They get everyone. They know who comes up the stairs for how long. They know who comes in the basement. Basement doesn't know who goes up to the third. First floor knows. Second floor no, I never lived on the second floor. I lived on the floor. You can hear, you know, like, but like, you know, on the third, you still have people walking up top, you know? You're in that middle ground, but you're high. You're where the trees are at in the third floor. You're above the trees. You have the farthest way to walk. You know, you don't get to hear what people are the second and third because you're so up there. You might not interact with the people there, but you have the roof. Your perspectives are different. You might. They say when you look out far into the world, like out past, you know, the buildings and everything, you see farther into the future where you're just not located in your present like people on the first floor are. You know? So, like, we all have just different perspectives and everything that can be molded from different environments. So, like, also learn that. Also, like, also for an example, it's trans metropolitan, right? So, in trans metropolitan, the homes population are people who were great. You know, they have this. They focus on one person who's great, and and because trans metropolitan is a future futuristic. So they talk about how people like their homes population are people who are reclamations from people in our time who froze themselves to get to the future, but then they found out that like it's not as cool to like freeze yourself and go up there. It's in fact a burden because like you froze yourself. But like, and got and like for you, that'd be great. For us, it would've been like, whoa, you got to see 3,000 years into the future. But like also for them, the people who actually froze themselves, you know, they thought it was gonna be great to see the world because they've done great things. It, now it was, it was expensive now to go freeze yourself. Now everyone's able to afford to do it. But imagine like, you know, like it'd be an example of like Walt Disney, who they say cryogenically froze themselves that like if Walt Disney, like no having this, like we all know who Walt Disney is, but 3,000 years to the future, they don't, we really, they don't care about Walt Disney. Like, they want, the cartoons are different now. Ten years ago, like, the cartoons are different five years ago. <laughs> like, people can now make any cartoon, you know? Like, just, like, legitimate copies. We have Pixar. You know, like, what if Pixar just wins war and just your wipes out all the information on Walt Disney? And Walt Disney wakes up 3,000 years in the future. And they're like, what's Pixar? Or what if they're like, what's film? What's movie theaters? You had all, yeah, all the, it gets up. He doesn't go to where it lives because like, his house is not there because who knows what's there because it's 3,000 years to the future. You made it. You got reclaimed. But like now they reclaim. So like in the future, they reclaim these people. They call them reclamation projects because they come back and their brain has been like, because like the technology was worse now because it's going to get better. So like it's going to be worse. Not, like it's going to be bad technology. Great technology now is going to be terrible technology in the future. So they go into the... Um, they go into the future and like the fro the freezing methods are poor, like their brains aren't preserved well, so like they don't have, they're not all there, you know, but they're there because they, they know all this stuff, maybe, but like they're not all there, you know, like they're not the same person because they've been frozen all this time, you know, but like they're not, you know, they're not the people of this world, even the air is different, you know. The climate's different, you know, like, and it's not even that much of a shift. Like, even if the buildings stay the same, because the structure really stays the same, they always build up. There's things that still, we need a foundation. There's things that remain solid, but the buildings look different. The architecture is going to be different. The language is going to be different. The slang, the, 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 the writing, the culture. We hashtag. What if we hashtag everything in the future? What's a hashtag in the future? What is Twitter? We use cell phones. So what if we don't use that? And then someone goes there and they know this. They're great at cell phones. But they go there, but there's this technology that is just so far advanced from cell phones. Even though it holds its roots in cell phones, that cell phone is just obsolete. And you're just so far removed from it. Which you can look at it as aging, too. Just, you know, it's an issue of aging as well. So, like, they go there and it's just, like, unprepared for the future. And as prepared as they were for that present. So, you know, that, that's just, like, you know, that's why I think now, like, after reading that in Transport I'm like, you never know, like, where these homeless population came from, you know? It can be as very, as radical as that or as rational as someone having a mental health issue. Someone had a breakdown. Someone got hurt on the job. Someone, you know, caught a bad bet. Someone got arrested illegally and, you know, like, or falsely accused. Someone... You know, medical injuries, anything, a myriad of things can happen 
they took a drug they got drugs you know like a traumatic experience you know like anything can happen so look at us paying the toll to the people that like they're not worse than you are they're not dumber they survive can you survive no but they have a different perspective because their pressures are different and your pressures are different as well so like look at us that paid a toll to like feel good and just someone gets there what they need I get what I need I need to feel good going on to that day because life is just hard so pay the toll and I go and there was a couple of days I didn't I feel like I didn't pay the toll and like I ain't, I say, I ain't saying that thing went bad or anything but it's just like the, t the time when I was able to pay the toll like it felt better things felt like right again that like I wasn't like just walking on this earth like you know, like hopping the turnstile, you know, like I was now valid in life, you know, and it's not something, it's something optional, but, you know, I like to look at it as that, you know, trans radical rationale, you know, we got anything else, um, dinner, oh yeah, talk about dinner, that like, yeah, dinner was great, um, ordered way too much food, um, definitely getting curves, um, it was my first time out. I never thought I'd be out there. Like, I used to look at it, too. And I used to be like, oh, it'd be great to go as Martha. But, like, I never thought I'd be in there. And then, like, I was in there. And, like, it was a slow night, too. Like, but, like, you know, so, like, food took, like, a while. But, like, it was great. The food tasted amazing. The conversation was amazing. Um, I felt powerful, you know. I felt like a woman, you know, like just you know sat at the table just with my girlfriend you know like not like girlfriend girlfriend but like you know girlfriend you know that we both like working and hustling you know getting this paper getting this money in our own ways and we're here like enjoying like a meal you know visible trans visible you know so like that felt amazing felt empowering you know the windows there you know seeing it from a different perspective outside you know the same place like i was right around the corner from where the second job you know like the facilitator job so i just went right over there and right around the corner and like it felt amazing um drank i was able to drink because i like my sangrias like my is red wine you know waiter was cool you know tip you know I don't know how much, as I become more visible, I feel like I'm gonna tip less, because like, I feel like now, as we visible, I tip like, just like, <laughs> oh, you're a nice movie? Fine, <laughs> here you go, have all of it. So like, as but as I become more visible, I think I'll just hold back on that a little more. But in the meanwhile, like, yeah, you need to think, do the things that make you feel good and affirmed, and being able to do that, made me feel that, like, you know what, I'm working, I'm doing all this. I'm hustling my 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 two off, you know, and it's just you know like being able to like yeah spend it I guess it's a tax because you know but it's a life tax that like you know that I felt yeah to affirm like yeah that's why we work that's why we work so when you can work hard it was a true work hard and play hard moment it really was I played hard I drank. And I got, you know, I drank OD, but I got to let loose. And, like, I'm knocking stuff, like, off the table. Like, you know, like, you no, know, like, even in this moment, like, I was just, like, I'm too tall to, like, move, you know? And then, like, I was, like, and after transition, I got to be, speaking of things that, like, you know, I learned, you know? That, like, I was, like, all right, I was going to be too tall to move. And, like, you know, you know, because, like, womanhood has to be all reserved and everything. But, nah, I was, like lost in it, hands up, waving, like, go ahead, drink it, talk to me, talk about this, I'm like, I'm knocking straws, food, forks, I'm slapping the table, I'm just, like, having a word, at one point, I take the fork, right, because I'm eating with this hair, and I can't, you know, the hair, it's just like, I want to tuck the hair back, because I got to get, like, a haircut on the sides, naturally, it's just some wolf on the sides, but, like, you know, like, ideally, I'd be able to just do that, and just, like, you know, you know, just do that and just, you know, <gasps> and Litty, like, that's how you do a flex move. That's how you know you're doing great. You do a flex move, like, show off, like, tuck the hair back and just show off the earrings and everything. Uh, Afrocentricism over here, you know, yeah, check that out, you know, like, that's what it's all about, you know. So, like, the details, you know. So, 
I, I do. I probably should do that, but I wasn't feeling that yet because I was just like natural hair is just like you don't really shave the sides and all that. So I wasn't right, but like the hair, like it was just in there. I'm eating like I think it was like something with sauce on it. It's just hair's just tangling. I'm like ah, but I'm hot because I'm having a good time. So I'm just like ah, <laughs> you know, I'm just like all right. And then like, but at one point they say something. I think they say something like like hilarious or something. I was just I, say, where, I can't remember what they were talking. About. It was just like. I was so lost in it, I took the fork and like and to brush my hair, but I brushed my hair with the fork. The sauce and then everything on the fork. It's technical. Just rice in it. It's just like a full on brush, like a full on like and it's just like <laughs> the fork. And like you know, like I just wasn't paying at that shit. But like it felt great. You know, I let loose, you know, and like I never let loose my life kind of thing. But I like that as like my identity though. That like, you know, I really want to cultivate that, and I'm, I'm scared that like cultivate it might be standoffish. But I, I realized that like in this past like occurrences that like, I can do both, you know, just learning like how to, you know, like you know, be, you know, because I want to be about my business, you know, I want to be about my, be about my money, be about my power and wealth, and just like really try to do things and like create some status. Not just for me, but like for my trans loves out there. Um, cool, you know, and just like you know, like yeah. I don't know how I was going with that, but yeah. I wanna do like, you know, so I'm really trying to be about that, but like during those moments when like someone can like crack my heart hysteria my heart exterior and like really like this. I show people that, yeah. You know, even though, like, you know, when it's time to work, when it's time to get this paper, it does close you off because, you know, you lose, you know, like, colleagues that way. I do that at my regular job where, like, I just don't, I don't talk to people as much at my regular job just not because I'm, like, rude or anything or want to be rude. And it comes across as standoffish, but really, at the end of the day, like, I'm really just trying to hustle and get my money and, like, not just get my money, but I'm building a career. Like, I'm really trying to build something where I just, like, yeah, and I, I'm like, I like y'all. They're great people and everything. But, like, for me, like, from what I have to do and then what I not feel I have to do, but want to do, need to do for my community is to really be the best, like, employee, like, I can be. So one day I eventually learn maybe to be the best boss. I don't know. That's another level yet. Because I don't know if I want to be, like, supervisor there. But, you know, like, that might be the next step. And even if, and if I am, like, then I have to be the best, you know? Because, you know... Not to just put pressure on myself, but I put pressure, you know, because I want to, you know, like, this is the community I represent. So, like, I, you know, this starts at the littlest thing. So, even if it's the littlest trainings, the littlest, you know, information sessions, I'm, like, first row. Like, because people got to know that, like, I ain't no joke, and we ain't no joke. And, like, the people, this was great about facilitating these group meetings, is that, like, everyone, like, I've come to come across, they're all great in their own way. It's, like, it almost, it's almost upsetting, like that like in a selfish way that like because like you know like because of my inherent biases about the trans community growing up it's just like I expected you know people to be train wrecks and like for the most part we are you know everyone is though in society but we are we're a different type of train wreck we're just like I mean, throw gender into it it just gets bonkers you know the train wreck. You know, but there's nothing wrong with it, you know, because we all pick ourselves up like constantly, constantly so often that like we can have a train wreck and build that track up right there like that and there, you know, and you not even know, which is what trans people do anyway, right? They have this whole life, you know, whole life. Like I said, Martha is more successful. I don't know if I said this, but Martha is more successful than my cis life, you know, much more like doesn't make as much because like it's full time job versus part right time, but like much more in terms of reach and just power and just like social ability and just like social potential. Like, it's just a way more, you know, like than my cis life and because like I know what I want to do and how I want to do it and I have a direction. But then, before then, I was just like this was my obstacle, and then you pass that obstacle, and I was just like okay I, this is what i have to do but let's go and then like then it's still fair it's still trepidation it's of course it's life you're not sure about yourself and anything and any regard you do anybody is but you know like being able to do as your true self like it takes away a lot of that that and like you get to really treat reach the true essence of what you need to do and what you need to get across 
And it's really a powerful thing. You know, it really is. It gives you a step notch because, like, I'm going in, even in cis world and everything, that with this mentality that, like, hey, I can do this. Like, I do my thing. My community depends on me. I depend on my community. I have a community. How about you? And, like, it doesn't, like, have to be like that. But, like, whenever, like, if hate does come up like that, if you're getting hated on, just know, trans people, you got a community. And the, you got now this individual, you know, and if you don't have a community, find it. Like, even if it's online, find it, you know, because it's like, you don't want to, because, like, even if you post something online, like, people can, the right people can get it, and you'll be surprised, like, really, that's what's been the most magical thing about facilitating, things that, like, I'm glad I learned, things like, yeah, things I'm glad I learned is that, like, you know, the community is so much more impactful than you know, because I see it, like, the when people come into the meeting, like we get waves, and you know, so people will come and then like they'll they connect because they'll meet people that like you know they'll come fresh and they'll meet people that like are great that they like realize that they're not alone, and they become great and they become successful and then they go move on and then they go do more successful things and reach out and then like we'll get a new wave and that new starters and I gotta start fresh again. And it's like school, you know, like it's like hey you do this and that and then sometimes they come back and visit and when they come back and visit they're like hey I can do this. I can do that, I can do this, I can do that, what you need, I got you, and then your community strengthens. And it bothers me because like, I want to keep it consistent, I want the people that go, I don't want to go, I want to come stay and continue to grow this community. And then like some do, you know, and that's the ones, you know, like that's, you know, I did, actually. Yeah, I did, I stayed. Oh gosh, I stayed. Oh, Things I would I didn't do, like I wanted to leave too, right? And I wanted to leave, and I stayed. I stayed, you know, like and yeah. Oh wow, that's what happens when someone stays, you know, like you know. And then like it's just that's the struggle, you know. Now, like you know, when it stays, you know, that like you gotta like figure out how to like shepherd all these, you know, new trans folk because they're all amazing. They come, they. It's been, like, cause like, if they come and they're new trans, you know, they come like, they did well in their cis world and determined that like, that's their obstacle. But they've all done well in their cis world. So they have this wealth of knowledge and all they need is the acceptance. After that, it's just all cake. Then you don't even know, so you'd be surprised at what they can do. Like I said, I go into places like, yo, Greywick and all, and like, you still gonna respect my game. Like, so you can be 6'3", you can say man in dress, you can say whatever you wanna say, but you respect my honesty because if you don't, that person definitely is telling you, t gonna be telling you that, hey, you gotta, you gotta respect Martha's game, because Martha don't play. And then, like, go party up, and then you realize that, oh, shoot, Martha, there's something about that girl. Great hair, mother is on the show, and he's got this, this, and gotta go. La 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 la. Uh, Facebook, I guess I'll post on Facebook, and then I don't know if I'm editing this video, but check out my music, GNZ, Gunzy, whatever, GNZ Kennedy, um, Trans Radical Rationale. Um, I'm your host, MX Martha. What kind of is it? I didn't see the movie back then. Shouldn't have said that. I didn't know if that's all kind of fair. The earrings. Don't drink, don't eat the don't, don't eat the jello. Don't, don't, oh no, it's gonna get in my hair. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no, no, no. I smell. Oh, oh my God.